One of the animals Terrambina is most famous for is bats. Let's find Ryan and learn about the bats. Hi, I'm Ryan Jacobus, and today we're talking about bats. What do you think about bats? Do you think they're cool, scary, gross, interesting? If you pick gross or scary, what you learned today on the show may change your mind. This is here in Bino Rainforest Center. My family and I lived here for six weeks, and I got to study bats. I think bats are cool, and even kind of cute. Look at how they all snuggle together when they sleep. The scientists here have taught me that the bats are more than just cute, though. They're also super important to the environment, and that's the real reason to love them. Do you know why they're important? The answer is, they're helping to save our forests. I'll explain how. One of the biggest problems in our world is that humans are destroying the forest. When trees are cut down, animals lose their homes and food sources, and those animals can become endangered or extinct. The air we breathe comes from trees. Carbon dioxide, another word for pollution, is absorbed by the trees and cycled out as oxygen for us. Without trees, humans can't live. That's where the bats come in. Here I am with Bernal Rodriguez Herrera. He's one of the top bat scientists in Costa Rica. He explained to me why bats are the heroes of the forest. The murciélagos. Basically what he told me is that the bats are replanting the trees. They do this by eating the fruit from the trees, flying away, and dropping the seeds on the ground. From the seeds grow new trees. Bernal pointed out that this is a faster way to replant the forest than people doing it, and it's free. Ellos hacen esto gratis. Bernal said, to do this though, people need to learn how to respect bats and other animals that replant the forest. If we respect them, he said, the animals will help us. The problem is, most people don't respect bats because they're afraid of them. There are a lot of myths that make people scared or superstitious. For instance, some people think that bats attack humans or suck their blood. Well, the truth is, only 1% of bats actually drink blood. And their prey is mostly pigs and cows, not humans. People who are afraid of bats because they think they'll suck their blood have been watching too many movies. A lot of people think that bats with flying get stuck in the hair because they think they're blind. First of all, bats are not blind, but they also won't get stuck in your hair because of something called echolocation. We'll talk more about that later. Other people are scared of bats because they think they carry rabies. But actually, less than one half of 1% of bats actually carry the rabies virus. You're far more likely to get rabies from a dog or a raccoon than a bat. Because of all this misinformation and fear, humans are a big threat to bats. In lots of places, people kill them. They shouldn't though. Bats are helping us, not hurting us. Let me tell you about some other bats that help us. There's a group called insectivores that eat insects like moths and mosquitoes. Scientists have calculated that a single insectivore can eat up to 3,000 mosquitoes a night. It's these bats that keep mosquitoes from taking over the world. Nectar-eating bats pollinate hundreds of plants and trees in the forest. Because bats are so important to our world, more and more scientists are studying them. The perfect place to do this is Costa Rica. Why? Well, even though Costa Rica is a tiny country, it's one of the most biodiverse places on the planet. That includes being home to 110 different species of bats. And get this, 70 different types of bats are right here in Tiambina. So if you're into bats, this is the place to be. Tonight I'm going into the forest to help some biologists and students study bats. Before we go into the forest, we need the right gear. Mud boots, headlamp, gloves. Let's go. This is where we're going to work tonight. The first thing we do is set up the mist nets to catch bats. This doesn't hurt the bats, but it does make them a little late getting home because we keep them for a couple hours to study them. Bats are wild animals, so you don't want to try this on your own. I'm able to handle them because I've been trained and I'm working with the scientists. We inspect the bats to collect data, which includes weighing and measuring them. We do this to figure out what species it is. We compare what we find with the descriptions in science books. I like this part. It's like being a detective. We have to solve the mystery of what type of bat it is using the clues the bat presents. So this one is a Jamaican fruit bat? Yeah, it is. Here's some other stuff I found out about bats. Bats are mammals, just like dogs and cats. Mammals are warm-blooded, have hair on the skin, and produce milk to feed their young. As you know, humans are in the mammal family too. 
So in a way, we're related to bats. Now those are some crazy relatives to have. Bats are different from all other mammals because they're the only ones that can fly. That's cool. Everyone knows that bats can hang upside down when they sleep, but did you know they can walk upside down too? How do they do it? This is another adaptation that all bats all over the world have. They have rotate the knee 180 degrees. That means that they turn the knee in this direction, in the, completely the opposite. Because in this way, it's just very easy to hang upside down. One of their most unusual features is echolocation. Basically, they use a sort of echo, echo, echo to locate their food or home. Other animals that use echolocation are dolphins, whales, and some birds. This is how echolocation works. Most bats send out a high-pitched noise that we can't hear. This creates an invisible sound wave that bounces off something and comes back to the bat. The echo tells the bat the location of what the sound hit. Here's something else I find really amazing about bats. Check this out. A bat's wing is actually a hand with a membrane attaching the fingers. That's why bats can fly and we can't because our fingers aren't webbed. Well, I don't know about yours, but mine aren't. I hope you're starting to see all the awesome things about bats and how important they are to our world. Once you know more about something you were afraid of, it becomes less scary. Do you feel less afraid of bats now? Here are some ways you can help your new batty friends. Give them a safe place to live by putting up a bat house. In return, they'll eat your mosquitoes for you. Keep learning about bats and spread the word that bats are cool. Thanks for coming along on our supernatural batty adventure.